All right, guys, welcome back. Okay, so now that we're familiar with jQuery, I want to go ahead and bring you guys a little bit more into the deep end. And with this video, I want to talk about chaining. Now, chaining in jQuery allows us to add multiple events to the same line of code. So we don't just have to have CSS right here for our paragraph tag. So what I want to do, is first things first, I want, to, I want to get this Lauren Ipsum out of here. So delete everything except our span text. And... For us to trigger this for this example for chaining, I'm going to go ahead and create a button. I'm going to go ahead and just give it a button. And let's call it release the hounds. Why not? And if I'm kind of groggy, it's because I just woke up from a nap. So if my voice is kind of off. I apologize beforehand. But uh, I'll do some videos after this and hopefully I'll get my mojo back. Okay, so release the hounds. Let's go ahead and call our button up here. So we've got ready function, basic syntax. Yada, yada, yada. Let's go ahead and source in jQuery, our money sign, our Dr. Scrooge sign, button, dot click. You can hover over it, over the button if you want to, but since it's a button, it only seems natural that we click it. And let's go ahead and always gives us one more parentheses than we need. Let's go ahead and close this out right now. Oh my. Nope, L, third time's a charm. Okay, rock and roll. Okay, so what I wanna do now is let's go ahead and just get rid of our parent class right here. And let's just create this as our parent. We'll just give it this bam, we only have one. Now, right now we have our CSS. So if we click on our button, our span text should go to our orange. Let's go ahead and see if that works. Let's go ahead and open this up with a browser. I'll use Safari, this should work, release the hounds, turn to orange, that's cool. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a couple break tags though. So I'm gonna go down here and just give it some, some BR tags. Let's just get this off different lines of code. There it is, this should work, this should work. Okay, but let's go ahead and concatenate. Well, it's not really concatenate, we're just adding, with chaining, we're, we're, we're running multiple events on the same line of code. So we just don't have to do CSS. We can go ahead and we can use an event that we've already done. Let's go ahead and pull in, fade, out and we'll set it to 1.5 seconds. So it's 15 milliseconds. And let's go ahead and save that. Let's reload it. Boom, fade it out just like that. But we don't we could do more than two. We could do as many as we want. Let's go ahead and do uh, fade back in. Fade in and set it to however many milliseconds you want. I think it only seems fair that we set it to 1500 though. And let's go ahead and did I save that. Save it. Let's reload it. Release the hound, so three things should happen. It should change to our orange, and then in one and a half seconds, it should fade out, and after one and a half seconds, it should fade back in. Release the hounds. Well, let's get rid of the, the highlight. Release the hounds. This should work. See you later. Come back to me. There it is. All right, guys, so chaining. You're just adding multiple events to the same line of your jQuery code. So whether it's CSS, transition, animate, um, events, stuff like that, again, just go to your jQuery API. That that website we've been uh, going back and forth to and looking at examples and stuff like that. Go ahead and play around with it. So right here, we have three events on the same thing. We're doing CSS, fade in, fade out. Hopefully this made sense, guys. This is Chaining. Good luck with this. I'll see you guys in the next video.